Oh, well in the outback. People live here for the lifestyle. There's a lot of, they call it black sheep country. You know, it's like people that aren't going to fit in really royal society anyway. <laughs> you might as well come out here. They call it a free range asylum. Came up here as a single father. Um, thought it was a good place to raise my kids as well. It cost me a thousand dollars a year to live here. Uh, it was mined back in the 70s. That's where they dug a major pocket out across the road. This, this camp itself, uh, built in 1972. Um, the original camp, then the house next door was built. And my house has been photographed. They've got photographs of my house all over the world. There's so many people stop and just take pictures and then drive off. You don't know where they come from. It's, it's, it's hardcore without a car. No, walking places are hard. At the moment, we're down to the motorised push bike, but the back chain broke. <laughs> so, you know, we're down to nothing at the moment. I, I do like the adrenaline. I like being in caves and underground. Um, it's an excitement when you find Opal. I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't put me faith in Opal. Uh, art, I can put me faith in. I'm an artist, a pretty introverted artist. Uh, I've never really displayed my pictures before, but I had a bit of a slight bit of encouragement off friends and that, and I'm bored. There's nothing else up here to do. Mine, draw, mine, draw. Um, a lot of it's post-traumatic stress disorder, I suppose, growing up in, in and out of boys' homes and jail. Yeah, a lot of symbolism. Uh, I enjoy just thinking. It makes you stop. Uh, I think a lot when I'm drawing. An extension of myself, really. Oh, I love people coming to see the artwork. I like them signing the visitors book, which is the best one. Uh, nice comments from people from around the world and that. Yeah, it's encouraging.